<laughs> oh, what's going on, son? I'm finally back from getting my milk and cigarettes from the- Oh my god, what the hell happened? I was only gone for 15 years. What happened to your bank account? Oh, your ads manager. Is anyone an ad surgeon? I mean, he needs help. I am a surgeon. I am a surgeon. I am a I am now, if you're still watching after that god-awful cringy intro, then kudos to you, my friend, because you are in for a treat. As today, we are going to learn how to market any e-commerce product from scratch and come up with entertaining and educational angles that speak directly to your target audience and help you scale your brand on any ad platform. And as an ad agency owner who is currently running and creating ads for multiple seven and eight figure e-commerce brands, this is my exact research process for how I figure out who my ideal target audience is, what they care about, and how we can speak to them directly to come up with winning ads every single time. So if you have never had a successful ad campaign, no matter what you try, your cost per clicks are way too high, this is the video for you. So today we're going to be making ads for this cooling blanket product. And I know it's not the biggest problem solver in the world. In fact, it's kind of generic, a little bit of a basic B if you ask me. When we are creating ads for any e-commerce product, you have to identify your target audience. And I feel like the best way of doing that is always reading reviews on Amazon, on competitors' websites, seeing the type of content that's out there for that product. So if you see on TikTok, every single person reviewing your product, let's say it's a cooling blanket, is a female that's younger than, okay, maybe that's going to be our main target target audience and we see on YouTube here it's a mix it's generally though more adults reviewing the product when I scroll down to the images it's also mainly female and there's obviously a reason why that is the case you don't just make a bunch of product images with 40 50 year old dudes if that isn't the target audience so as we can see right here when we read the reviews Vanessa Carrie Catherine it is mainly for females so I would definitely take a note of that when you are figuring out who's going to be my content creator for these ads or where should I get the clips from because you want your clips of your ads to be from the target persona. Now you can't create amazing ads until you understand where it hurts for your target audience. So how do you actually come up with the pain points that they're currently having? Well, you can do this by looking at alternative products to your own. So if I'm selling a cooling blanket like this one, I might see and look up reviews for just regular types of blankets that most people are currently using to see what are they actually saying in those reviews? Are they saying that, oh, my blanket's too thin, it makes me too warm, or what's the current problems they're having with products similar to mine? So with cooling blankets, I could see a lot of comments saying, that oh this is just a thin cold blanket it doesn't really have any technology therefore it's still disappointing to me i'm not able to get my desired result of having amazing sleep and after scraping customer reviews i can see one of the biggest pain points people have is that when they buy these cooling blankets they do shrink in the wash so if yours doesn't do that then make sure to mention that in your ads and then finally another pain point that people are saying is that after they use the blanket for a little bit of time like a week or so it tends to be really poor quality so the threading might not be great so that might be another thing we want to handle when we are writing our product page and creating our ads to handle the objection of reliability and quality. Hold on muchacho, I noticed you didn't like, comment, or subscribe on this video. So if you could do one of those things for me so that the YouTube gods understand that we are back and we are ready to ball out, I would really appreciate it. Now another key to creating amazing ads is understanding what is your target audience's desire with your product? What is their goals? Because people aren't buying your product for the sake of buying a product, they're buying it because it provides a solution to a problem that they most likely have. So with a cooling blanket, the problem most likely is going to be that, okay, you're having trouble sleeping at night, but we never want to make any assumptions about what exactly it could be. So for this reviewer, they said that their husband and them are both hot sleepers. So they have trouble sleeping. They get overheated. So this was the perfect solution for them so that they can actually rest comfortably at night. I'm sure during summer months, because that's something I see in a lot of reviews that, Hey, I sleep hot. So you really are trying to notice what are you seeing over and over and over again? If I'm seeing a lot of my husband and I that, okay, maybe I want to market to couples. And I'm also seeing a lot of people saying they live in Arizona or Miami where it's constantly 80, 90 degrees. I mean, boo hoo, if you ask me, but it, because it's so hot, they're having trouble sleeping. So again, this can be a great way of marketing to people that live in those warmer environments and telling them that, Hey, you deserve better sleep. And this is the solution. And this is another great pain point here. So if your bedroom takes forever to cool down, or if you don't have a ceiling fan, so you're always going to be warm. Your room is just naturally hot. This is a perfect solution for you. So for warm nights, for summer months, we're getting a 
good read as to why people are buying this product. And again, this is just from Amazon itself and from one listing. So you should be reading from multiple listings, gathering as much info as you can. So let's actually read here from Rest who makes a very similar product. And let's go to the review section to see what the people are saying. So for this person, they're always sleeping with a comforter, but it gets them too hot. So again, this keeps them nice and cool. So keeps that body temperature right so that you can go to sleep peacefully. Again, gifts. Oh, so a gift angle that could be interesting too. So if you know that your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or whatever is always sleeping hot, this can be a great gift for them. But again, the more scenarios we can get that are common to people, the more relatable our marketing is on our product pages and ads, the more likely people are to convert. But I think we definitely have a good grasp now as to what are the goals that people are really trying to achieve once they have this product. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, if you have an e-commerce brand and you're looking to scale up and even double the profitability of your ads on TikTok and Facebook, then my agency guarantees we will do that with storytelling ads that are entertaining and educational to help convert your customers into lifelong fans. Click the link down below, book a call with my team, and we can see if we're able to do exactly that for your brand so you can scale to all new heights. Now, a big mistake you want to avoid in your e-commerce marketing is not reading enough bad reviews, those one and two star reviews that give you some valuable insights as to what are the key objections people have that you should be addressing with your product page and also your ads as well. So when I read reviews for other cooling blankets, and this is something you can do for any product you're selling, just similar products, I can see that a lot of people are also saying that, hey, I hate cleaning these cooling blankets. Sometimes the threads come out that it also leaves these little balls in my bed. So if your product doesn't have that issue, then you should 100% be mentioning that. And there's so many other things where when you read hundreds of reviews, which you should be doing on Amazon, go page by page, you will continually notice objections that happen over and over and over again. And if you see those way too much, then you have to be addressing them in your ads. Now, the next step of researching ad ideas for your e-commerce product is to go on to TikTok, go on to YouTube and look up your specific product type and see what videos are already out there. So you can do research, read the comments, and also just see what people are saying in the actual videos themselves of when they're reviewing. So you understand their thought process of what made them buy, what are they looking for in this product? What are the pros, what are the cons? So that again, Again, you can learn more about why they're buying because you never want to assume anything. So let's actually go right here. This one has 1.9 million views. So yeah, let's see what this guy said. I'm wearing this blanket needs to be in your Amazon cart right now. It's a cooling blanket for those who love the feeling of turning their pillow over to the cold side. That's what this blanket feels like when you sleep with it. Instead of tossing and turning because you're hot, it'll keep you cool and comfortable with its cooling technique. So I'll be honest, I'm not going to watch the whole thing because this does feel like an ad. So I'm going to go to a comment section and try to get some authentic reviews. So a lot of people are saying, okay, use a sheet. Oh, I thought that I'm gonna be cold. Okay, I'm a heat blanket person. So this is really good where the main objection I'm seeing in this comment is that people are saying, just sleep with the sheet. So that's something that we have to address in our ad. And maybe we should compare, this is what it's like to sleep with a sheet versus sleeping with our blanket and then actually just getting someone's reaction to how do they feel afterwards? Or if we can have an explainer ad that talks about our cooling blanket and the unique features, the materials that make it so much better to sleep with than a regular sheet for cooling you down, for reducing the amount of sweat that you have and giving you that more comfortable sleep that you desire, especially when it's warmer, that is the type of ideas. But again, you gotta read the comment section because you can see here what people are really thinking but let's go to the next video 37k views and i'm going to read the comments so in this next video it didn't really give me too much insight but as a hook she said that i take my sleep very seriously and i could see that being a great hook that calls out your target audience especially with a product like this and then you transition into how cooling blankets are for serious sleepers that really want to get the best possible sleep so they can perform their best at work or whatever it is that they do so after you've done all of your real hard work of watching youtube videos and scrolling on TikTok and probably getting distracted and looking at all the hot e-girls that you'll never have a chance with, then I want you to go onto the Facebook ads library because one of the key aspects of creating amazing ads is studying what your competitors are already doing with their ads. That doesn't mean you want to copy them or anything, but there's a good chance they already have some benefits and angles and ideas that they've tried out. And if the ad has been running for a while, let's say over a month, it clearly is a winning ad. So you should take note of what exactly was the key aspects that made it work. And this is a really good graphic out here because they don't say our blanket is super cool and will keep you chill. They put a background of ice so that you associate the product naturally with that 
feeling of being incredibly cool. And it's also interesting to know that they are testing different headlines as well. So say goodbye to night sweats, meat sweat or night sweat. So they're really going for that angle of solving that night sweat issue. So that might be something we consider talking about in our ad angle as the key concept. Now we definitely want to see some of the videos as well. So they're starting with the hook of hot sleepers. So again, they've identified that is typically going to be the target audience, people that do sleep hot at night, or if you live in a hot environment, and what they're doing here is really interesting because one of the best frameworks you can do for any ad is a mashup ad of the best reviews you get from people across UGC ads and social media. But they're bringing people all in one place and getting their reviews and feedback directly, which is still a mashup in a way. But again, it's great for social proof. A lot of people are talking about the benefits of why they love it. That's exactly what you're supposed to do in a social proof mashup ad. So again, I'm sleeping naked tonight, all this stuff. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, you know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. It's super cold. It's also hyperallergenic. So again, it solves a lot of objections already in the ad. And again, the best ads you can ever make for a product are ones that already pre-sell people on why they should buy. Now, I'd also recommend going on PP ads as well and looking at the keywords of your product so we can see some ads ideas that have worked for other brands so let's see here with hug sleep they're doing a four reason so a stepwise ad as to why you need to okay ditch weighted blankets so that could be the main thing that we are trying to talk bad about because in a lot of ads you need to have an enemy you need to be talking about the alternative that does not work anymore so that you establish here's the old way that you're currently doing and here's the new way of getting to your desired result which is much better healthier comfier sleep well once you figure out your target audience and their pain points and goals with your product, it's now time to figure out what is the most entertaining and educational ways that you can show them that your product solves whatever problem that they have. So if the first problem we have is that you are someone who gets night sweats, then we should definitely have as a hook in one of our ads, someone who is sleeping and they're maybe shaking or they literally wake up and they're covered, dripped in sweat all over because that's going to be the most entertaining visual that's going to capture our attention compared to a visual of your product being held and then, okay, it's a TikTok text to speech person. No, challenge yourself to come up with entertaining visuals. And that might be you filming yourself, might be sending it to a UGC creator and they have to splash some water on their face. Get creative with it. So now that we have all the information, let's put the puzzle pieces together and create a problem solution ad. Since we understand that this product does have a lot of problems and we should address those in our ad. All right, we start with it's summertime. So now I'm having trouble sleeping because I am a hot sleeper. And it also means that I deal with night sweats. Now let's introduce the product. So I bought this thing that I saw, this cooling blanket on the internet. So as soon as I started sleeping, with this, I instantly felt more comfortable, relaxed sleep, and I don't have to ever deal with those horrible night sweats again. It's finally got rid of that for me, which I never thought would ever happen. And then you're just going to throw in some other benefits that you've already gotten from reading reviews from other people. And then finally, you just wrap it up with a good call to action at the end, whether that it's 40% off today or they should try it out if there's someone that's looking to get better sleep. There's so many different call to actions. And again, that's something you should be playing around with because I drastically notice your CTR can be impacted by just swapping out your CTA, which most people think it's only gonna be swapping out your hooks. And when it comes to the hook part of things, I would say focus more on the visual. So if I know my hook is talking about how I have trouble sleeping now that it's summer, okay, maybe the first hook I try out is someone getting out of bed and boom, they're covered in sweat. But maybe I start the ad being out in the sun because it's summertime. And then after one or two seconds, it flips and I'm now in bed. And then I wake up with all the sweat. So that way we keep people engaged so that they watch the rest of the ad and understand that, oh, this is probably something that I'm dealing with too, and I should look into buying this product.